Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to episode 46. The big 4-6. Terraforma Craft Reloaded. Check it out. We did some work on the stream the other day on our portal. We cracked it. We got the leaves working. It was a little bit of a process we had to go through to get our leaves. Um, we were lucky, basically. If you look, these are the Thorncraft Silverwood leaves, not the Terra Thorncraft ones. So we were able to use... Uh, we made ourselves a new scythe here, Silk Touch Scythe. And we were able to use that to gather the Terra Thorncraft leaves. And then we added the recipe to convert them back to the Thorncraft ones, which were luckily had been left in the pack. So we just had to add a recipe like we did for the bookshelves there. Put some uh, actual like TFC lanterns on top of these uh, MS Engineering posts, which I think is looking okay. Coming back to it now, I wonder if they should just be straight up. What about, I don't know, the little arms do add another angle. A few flowers here and there. We just need to wait for this grass to grow. We need, you know, we need bits of this stuff, the tall grass across it to, I think, complete the look here. Um, yeah, I've got some roots in the ground, some of these sort of stepping stone things leading to the portal. It's nice, it's nice. And so today we're going to do what we thought we were going to do on the stream. We ended up not getting so far rid of it, but we are going to try and start our sort of Thorncraft build here. Our, um, you know, because at the moment we basically have this shelf. This is like Thorncraft shelf. <laughs> um, it's not very sort of uh, grand, is it? And I think we'd like it to be. So I've kind of separated out this area here, flattened this off, and we're going to start to build something here. Um, and we wanted to kind of use uh, some bricks and all the cool bricks are just expensive, you know, like, I really like the look of the obsidian bricks, these ones. Um, that's going to be time consuming to make all of that, all of those ingots, I would imagine. The other thing that I thought would look cool for a wizard's tower was the, the hardened fire brick, it's called in this pack. But, you know, like nether bricks, basically. Now, <laughs> these hardened fire bricks, as they call them themselves, are made out of fire like fire clay fire bricks with graphite in the arc furnace so this is something that really we wouldn't have had access to until very recently but that's still so expensive all that kaolinite and graphite is going to be fairly unmanageable so we built ourselves one of these ender io painting machines essentially you put a cheap block in and you get you can kind of make it look like a different block um, I'll show you how it works in a minute. For now, we are making up a small batch of fire bricks there to make the kind of one uh, netherrack brick that's going to act as our template for the painting machine, if you like. And I was going to look at this um, Tinker's Chisel, because as you just saw, wherever it was... Oh, also that, blue nether brick. Wow. Yeah, so I guess once we have the hardened fire brick, there's actually a load of really cool... Yeah, we might not use the van the normal vanilla one. Some of these other ones look very cool. I mean, that blue one looks really cool. Anyway, so we, we, we can experiment with all of these. Um, but yeah, these for these Tinker's ones, we need this Tinker's chisel. So I was just going to explore that quickly. Where is it? Here we go. Ah, oh, it's kind of easy. A chisel head and a handle. Red steel chisel. Okay, nice. The thing I wanted to experiment with here don't know where they are. Are they in Thorncraft? Yeah, these. Do you think we can smelt down the obsidian tiles? I think we tried this already and it doesn't work. Nope, it doesn't. The obsidian tiles seem to literally be only obsidian in name, but nothing else. They're basically just like a decorative block that just happens to be named obsidian, but has literally none of the qualities of anything remotely obsidian related. You can't chisel them, you can't smelt them. They are just a decorative block. That said, it could be quite a nice decorative block to use in our in our sort of uh, wizard's tower thing here. So we're going to need to make um, some obsidian like we did the other day over here um, manually. And the problem is, is that in fact, you know, this crucible isn't really working fast enough for us back here. Um, it's fine for our smeltery needs, but when we start coming in and trying to make loads of pieces of obsidian, it doesn't work. But anyway, we only need one ingot here. 
one of these days we're going to have to create some sort of obsidian farm, I think. Um, but one ingot should should be doable from a block, you would have thought, right? Oh wow, I've just noticed we have even more obsidian tiles over here. So yeah, we've got loads of those things, so we could definitely use them in our in our build here today. Let's smelt this down, hopefully it gives us an ingot's worth. Ooh, wow, that's a slow burner. That is a slow burner. I bet these are finished though, they have. Lovely. It is going to be nice putting this um, arc furnace to more and more use. Problem is it, it's so efficient um, that we, once we've used it the first time we haven't needed to use it since. But I bet we can do them all, all together like this, right? Or not, because the recipe I guess does four at a time. So maybe we need to do it like that, there we go, yeah. And that's probably going to take its toll on our power over here, or is it managing? Yeah, it, is. it isn't quite managing. Oh, but it's probably finished already, now it's going back up, right? Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so that wasn't difficult. Right, and then tsh -tsh, bang. Okay, so we get four of those going. So we had to do a little bit of trickery to get this thing to behave and work with us, the, the painting machine. I'll show you what we've been doing with it. The thing that's strange about this painting machine, used to paint conduit facades Stairs, fences, gates, slabs, cobblestone walls, glass frames, glowstone, carpet, dark steel, pressure plates, travel anchors. Um, that list is literally it. So you'll notice no blocks, no like cobblestone block. The only whole block that it works with is glowstone, which is not like a pretty expensive block, right? Can we pour this now? Two ingots, great, okay. Ah! Strange, it doesn't want to pour. Do we need more in there to get one one brick out? I'm confused. We'll come back to that in a second. I've lost my train of thought. So this thing um, doesn't accept very any cheap blocks, but slabs. Aha, so we can make slabs. Because usually in TFC you can't make slabs because it's with the chisel to get the slab effect, but with great wood, which is definitely a cheap resource for us, very easily farmed, we can make slabs, and they do work. So we chuck the slabs in there, we chuck what it is that we want to use as our template in there, and it saves the template as well, which is the mad thing. So we can, you can, we can make like red steel blocks and like gold blocks and stuff as well. We can basically this thing is a complete cheese <laughs> um, in terms of building. But we've definitely earned it. But if we put it there, we put our capacitor in, now it starts to kick it out. And look, these are just they're fine. Uh, it does stairs too, so we can always make stairs. We just need to make I suppose a couple of great wood uh, stair pieces if we wanted stairs. Um but yeah like that, this is how we make expensive blocks, basically. <laughs> so, pretty funny. Now, why can't we pour this? But it doesn't really, like, doesn't, like, have a recipe. Do the other Tinker's ingots have recipes like that? Yeah, look, so Manilium ingots shows this recipe of being able to pour it out. I think the Obsidian ingot just, like, isn't implemented in the pack, perhaps. Just a shame. We can just pour it back into a block. Hmm. Okay, well maybe maybe those blocks aren't open to us, but if we were to take our chisel out and chisel one of these guys. Yeah, these are pretty similar looking, right? Like, I mean that is a cool block. I think we can do something with that. So we've got a few nether bricks here. Let's <laughs> do that and make a load of these now. I guess we've just got to try a few things, see what plays nice together. I mean, that's that's pretty cool, isn't it? I quite like it. I do like it. But yeah, that's definitely a scheme that I think looks okay. We have to be so careful around here with the haste. 
that we don't accidentally break a, a block and cause a <laughs> cause a cave in would <laughs> be a disaster. So anyway, you can see how we uh, how we're going to be kind of going about this today. So I'm just going to experiment with a few color schemes, um, and take it from there right now. Oh yeah, and while I remember, while I remember, that's the seed for my world here, guys. People have been asking me for this for a long time, on and off, different people, and I always forget to put it in the episode. So there it is. That's the seed. Cool. Okay, so I think I've established that I really like these bricks. This particular chiselled version of the uh, nether brick. These bright blue ones, I really thought I would. But as a floor, or as a potential wall, I don't know, even as a highlight block, they're just, the texture's just so noisy. I, I don't think we're going to go with it. I think we need to find something else to get our blue from. And I've also been trying, I just made one of these lapis bricks, which is just with the tinker chisel and a piece of lapis. And even that, hmm, I don't really like it either. I think it needs to be a much more purpley blue. I think, especially with this, with this here, what we want is purple, I think, rather than these bright blues for now. Okay, got a couple more blocks here to try. I've just been making some vanilla smooth stone. Apparently, these gold coins can smelt up for vanilla gold nuggets as well. And then we've got a piece of, piece of lapis here. So these are two... Oh, no, it just, it just changed in my inventory. That's weird. Okay, but look, temple blocks. I think these might be the more interesting anyway. Yeah, that's not working. Oh dear, how do we... Did you see that? It was like a vanilla one that as soon as it hit my inventory, it changed. Okay, I'm not sure what we can do. The ones that we wanted to use the gold for were these purpled fantasy blocks. Anyway, these temple blocks do look pretty nice, I think. There's like a couple of... There's a worn one and then there's ones in disarray. Interesting. Let's see. It's almost too clean, where the other ones were too dirty. These are almost too clean. What other versions are there in here? Whoa, they look trippy, they're like... That has the weirdest effect. They look like they kind of sink in with the texture moves depending on the angle you view it from. Right? That's trippy. I'm not sure if I like that. These are like surreal blocks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about these temple blocks at all. I thought those might be the one, but I think, uh, I think no. I think next customer, please. <laughs> now here's one option is just obsidian bricks. You know, I think that is a nice combo that, isn't it? That's nice actually. Now, building with them is going to be a pain. Oh, no, because we'll just clone them, won't we? Of course. Okay, and hopefully if these are fast to break as well, then we're in business, I think. Okay, on a basic level, I, I think I like this. I think we found our purpley red kind of combo. These two seem to really, really gel nicely, I think. Okay, so the other day on the stream, we were kind of starting to uh, just kind of clear out this space here. And um, I think we just need to go a little bit further this way. Um, we're going to have to build some supports out either side, but this is our spot up here, and I think that's kind of the centre of where we want this altar to go, the infusion altar. Um, it, it will give us a space around the centre point that's about seven or eight blocks outwards, which I think is probably enough to do most things. Um, maybe not quite all the really advanced recipes I'm not sure I've tried to look for like what the max size is and some people are building them absolutely huge and I don't know if uh, if we need to but you know before we get too far into this project I guess you guys can tell me if um if I'm being naive and if we really do need a much much larger space for this thing but I think at least to begin with this should be fine maybe we can end up building like a an even bigger one, I don't know, somewhere else later. Uh, but for our wizard's tower, I think this is going to be 
big enough and the idea is that we'd have this main room here we can obviously build rooms below it for all the zombie heads to stabilize it and then up here you'd sort of have the, like a tower or something be built into this I mean maybe yeah but we don't want to take too much more of that cliff edge off you see so the idea is that the room would be here and then maybe would be some stairs maybe we take a bit more off there to make room for stairs up to the tower um, so yeah that's what I'm thinking we need to sleep all right so in Thursday beat making club uh, last night we made a it would the theme was tr to try and do something based on Packabell's canon if anybody knows that uh, classic piece of classical and so what better time to show that off than now with a cheeky montage of me uh, getting this place all uh, sorted out so let's go
hope you enjoyed the montage and the new tune and um, I hope you're liking where we're going with this this is just the first wave we're gonna end up probably mixing in other blocks into these walls and varying things but I'm mostly working on structure and layout at the moment and I thought I'd stop the montage to discuss this next point because I want to make this little area that becomes the tower circular as well and also it's a bit small so I also was thinking about this roof and thinking well we probably want it to be a circular kind of uh, sloped roof going to a point that just feels like the most wizardy roof but then how does that link to this room here and it made me think well if the room poked into the roof it would kind of maybe converge closer at least to the tower going upwards so we'll be looking at doing these in a kind of diagonal fashion so if we put that back there just so we can kind of lay it out right and then so it's going to come out quite far into this room I hope that's okay so that one that one and that one can all go so yeah, I don't know how how doable this is going to be we'll, we'll have to work it out in a minute if it's kind of really possible and then one two three four and then link to there right so that goes that goes and that and that and that's the outline then of the uh, the wall that we've got to build here and that will give us a circular area inside here we'll probably end up pulling this support beam back because of that like it should only I mean maybe it shouldn't even actually come into this room at all yeah probably not we we'll probably just get rid I think well let's build up the wall and the floor first and see how it looks okay well from the inside it looks amazing I mean it's never good working with even numbers we've got our torch torch is all off center but I mean that's fine really I think it's a small price to pay for the kind of fitting the shape exactly as we want it it all feels pretty good now over here so I think we can do something with this because we have that support beam coming out already like I mean I'm fine with that it's kind of weird because it's off center the four because we're doing it we're doing odd numbers in here and then that's like an even numbered kind of bobble it might look less weird if we just can even though there's going to be nothing in there if we just continued it to that wall I think that's what we're gonna do yeah cool fine right like I mean it's obviously it's a shape that is isn't regular but you need some irregular shapes in your builds and that adds character and I think it would be nice to maybe put like another support beam through there when we come to detailing the the place but for now as we're just laying things out I like it the way I see it is now we have a spiral staircase this just this tower will go up and up and up and up and we still got tons of these so maybe we do that now as well but as far as the main bit of the building goes we're not going to be building up this room any taller that's where its roof will begin and I have some ideas for the roof so we'll work on that in a mo as well um, this chest was completely full of great wood I think we have some overflow we don't have any overflow let's plant some more great wood saplings <laughs> damn <laughs> we better like chop these ones down and all I think uh, this is the, the uh, less glamorous side of building amazing towers wait I also just realized something it doesn't have to be great wood if I do run out I can make slabs wait let's just check yeah exactly the same way so I can I can use the silver wood in the meantime as well so chopping these down is even more worthwhile okay so one thing that's occurred to me is that in here it might be nice to put the circular edge up here as a nice divide for then uh, the kind of taller room that comes off here for the stairs because on all the other edges it's going to hang over that point and when it gets to here it's just going to meet it and be like eh yeah that's more than enough height to walk through yeah that looks good and that will then be the area we build up for a small kind of probably just a slope like a straight sloped roof here so I think without further ado we need some roof blocks even if it's just a placeholder just to build the shape of it um, but I've been thinking that it's probably gonna end up being these guys the light blue 
stained clay or possibly the, the blue stained clay there. All right, here's our lime water, yeah? Not got much in it, but I think, yeah, that'll make us our blue paint. We've got some green already, so we should be able to, should be able to do this now. So let's get, gather some clay and some hay. Some hay and clay, oh yay. Okay, we have a proper entrance way there. I like it. Doesn't look weird from down here at all. No, it's looking good. I like it. It's kind of, it does, it kind of blends the two areas. Nicely having quite a sort of wooden feature for an entrance and then, yeah, and then we're in. Yeah, okay, nice. Well, with that, I wouldn't be surprised if we've messed about with that long enough that we've got our die, we do. Okay, great. And I guess we'll want some slabs too because there'll be areas where we want to flatten it out and, and smoothen things out, I think, with whole blocks. So we probably want a bit of both here. It's like that and like that. Then we get to the, the troublesome areas here, so we'd have to curve them round, wouldn't we? So you'd want to go um, come here like that. Then like that. And like that. Excuse me. Like that. But yeah, because then when you overhang like this, I remember doing this with roofs before. When you try to overhang, you end up in a pickle. So this guy can't be there. Put him there and that works. But then you end up being pushed inwards the other way. Ah, <laughs> so you have to put this guy like that. I'll just go and just roll with it. But then you keep going up. This problem is going to get worse and worse and worse the further up we go. Anyway, at the moment we're just trying to look at the colour scheme here, yeah? Would dark red be better? Like, should we just be using nether bricks? Yep. I can already see that it's just going to be way better in nether bricks. So that's what we're doing. Take a bit of nether brick, I think. I do have to make a decision about how these stairs work, how they all fit together, but hopefully we can just blag it as we go. But it's time to make a lot of stairs then. Time to make a lot of stairs. <laughs> right, so here is is where it uh, comes unstuck with, with these stairs doing this kind of pattern. So it's kind of dark, might be a bit hard to see. Let me put some lights about the place uh, temporarily, but it all kind of works doing what I did here where you kind of have it have a straight one and then you just have a gap and a turn in right and then another turn in here and then it kind of is fine you get to this point though when you've got this shape to make when it's become a little bit tighter and so when I do that here I can't place this stair facing that way so that it curves in like that one is and have this one facing that way so it curves in there and have one in the middle then correct them both at the same time if that makes sense so the solution I've come up with you see because that one's facing that way I need this one facing that way and then I need one in the middle to pull them both it just it, you can't do it it's it's something I've come across before with Minecraft stairs um, it, there's certain shapes you just you just can't make so my solution is going to be in this particular area we go like that. I think that will work. It's going to make it all look a little weird, but as if we just get one, yeah, one quarter of the thing done, if we're happy with how one quarter of it looks, then we'll be fine, won't we? Let's have a sleep. Okay, I mean, it's, it isn't the prettiest thing in the world. It's quite a few curved lines, but it is symmetrical, I think. Is it? It doesn't actually look that symmetrical. It should be symmetrical. Um, anyway, I think at this point I've spent so much time on this episode, you guys. Like, we've, we've kind of done the guts of this here, haven't we? Um, there's maybe a little bit more work for me to do in terms of, like, I should just take that and move it all the way around. And, like, and I'm going to replicate it on the, on the other three sides uh, off camera between now and and the next episode. Um, but we made, a, we made a cracking start here, a bit of a one-track mind today, we've just been focused on this tower, but um, yeah, it's uh, I think we've made a really nice start and like the flow of it and everything, and yeah, like, yeah. It's capturing my imagination. You know, we'll have our infusion altar down there, 
will have the like um, I can't remember what you call it the thing where you kind of it, it like separate the different uh, elements out from one another there's another machine you have to build I think we'll put that maybe in there or, or something and then yeah have a spiral staircase well, I was thinking research table there because it's four anyway um, yeah it's all all to play for here so thank you very much for watching one and all and I'll see you uh, next time whoa so yeah take care peace